on this SD card we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight videos of the QCAM Ego. And when I look at one of those videos here on my screen, I have a 4K width and 1080p high, and I have left and right videos together in one video. Now, if I have a software where I can edit this, but it needs those two separate, so it means a left file and the right file, I have to split this in half. And in this video, I show you how to do this. Uh, the best software for this is FFmpeg. Um, you can look up online how to install that. And then we go in on the Mac here in our finder. We go to utilities. Here's utilities. And in there is the terminal app. Double click on that. And here we go back to the card. So this card here is that. Here is our utility. The terminal program. I go here with Apple Plus to make the letters bigger. Can I? So if I make the letters bigger for you, you can see better. Okay, so we start out, this is like the old Windows days, CD, change directory to this directory with those videos. And LS is list, and that shows me all the videos in here. And that's where we run our command on. Uh, in this video folder here, where we have the source videos, we create a new folder called left, and another new folder called right, left and right videos, separate folders. So in my software, in DaVinci Resolve, for example, it wants two separate folders for left and right footage. I only keep my file name, okay? So let's do this. I also want this command to do all of them, not one by one, the whole thing. So that's why we need a loop. Okay, so for f, where f is the file name, in uh, star.mpeg4, right? So that's how this is called. .mpeg4 is this, and the star is this. That is like a wildcard that contains this whole thing, right? But everything is blue here, that's that star. So and this is our loop. We want to go through every single one of them. Space. It's important to do the spaces as I do them. Okay, so for this loop, in this loop, we do ffmpeg, that's our software, and we have an input file, and the name of the input file is $f. This is another, basically, wildcard. So whatever this thing finds here, the first one, that variable name is $f, okay? We have one space, backslash, and now we tell it what we want. Minus video filter. That's what we do. We do a video filter. And we call this thing crop. Crop is my video filter. Now, the video is 1920 by 1080. That's our video. And we want to start at 0, 0. That's in the left corner. Okay, so that's what we crop out. The left side of this video, it's 3840 pixel. And we want only 1920 pixel in width, 1080 in height. And we start at 0, 0. Okay, now we need a file name for what we wanted here. So, okay, the file name will be uh, one folder up. Like we are in this folder, right? So we go one folder up in video, and then we go back down into left, right? So the folder name here is left. Okay, and then we need a file name. So our file name, I want the L underscore, so that all the files start with L, the left files start with L underscore. And then I want this, I want to keep the name we had before. So that would be the variable dollar F percent and curly brace and parentheses again, right? So this is going to be my output file name for the left 
it will be in one folder up, then into the folder left, and in there the file name will be l underscore, and then the file name what it was before. Okay. Now we need one space, and then we do another output. Again, we do a video filter, and we crop. Again, cropping this, and the cropping thing will be 1920 by 1080. But this time we start on the right side. So the next pixel of the right video is not 1920, it will be 1921. And for the Y, we also start at zero like before. So now we have the crop and then we need a file name again. So we go one folder up and then this time it's the right folder where the name of the folder here is right. And then we need a file name. So the file name will be R underscore and then the old file name. So the old file name is a dollar curly brace F percent another curly brace. So the parentheses, so that this whole thing here is in parentheses, right? The file name has to be in parentheses. Okay, so, and that's already it. That's all we want. We want the left file and the right file. And uh, we want to finish this loop, so we type done. And so what this thing then does now is here, so it looks for all the mp4 files in here and it does with them, it uses them as an input file for ffmpeg and it crops out the left video and makes a left file in the left folder and then it crops out the right video and makes a file in the right folder here, right? And it keeps the file name intact, it just puts on uh, R underscore or L underscore underneath. Now when I hit enter, then this computer is doing this. Now we can watch it doing it here. Uh, we see here how fast this is. It depends on your computer, how fast your computer is, uh, how long this is going to take, right? If you have a fast computer, it's fast. If it's slow computer, it's slow and it's done when your name shows up down here. And uh, it's also faster when you don't do a uh, screen recording. Like I do a screen recording now, then it's gonna be, take more time, right? So um, you see here, um, I'm, I'm doing here 73 frames per second. Uh, those videos were recorded with um, 60 frames a second. So that takes a little bit longer. And when it says frame, I don't know if it says, if one frame is both, like left and right video, or if this is just one video. I don't know. I hear the fan coming on, so I assume the machine is pretty busy here. And we see down here how long it took so far. We are here in a minute. I may be fast forward. Let's see. Well, oh, look at this. So I'm going to pause the video recording here, the screen recording, and I come back when it's done with the last one. So we are almost done. It's calculating the last one here, number 15. And see, now it gives me my name here, my gig user, so that means this thing is done. So we don't need this uh, tool anymore. And we have now our video here. The original video split in half, okay? Now let's do here number 13. So that's the original one. And then 13 left is here. So I need to put this a little smaller in here, 13 left, and we have 13 right here. Sorry about the size here. Yeah. So can we see all of them? 
I don't know if you can see the difference between left and right. This video is a little odd, right? That stuff is so far away. This is a bad example where you can't really see good. Let's take the first one. Or what? Oh, I had one earlier. Here's the 14. 14, okay. So, 14 here. Make this smaller. Make it the same size, 14 left and then 14 right. Make that smaller too. Oh, come on, what is happening here? I'm trying to copy here. I do not want to copy. So, what is this thing doing? So you can see the difference between the left and right piece of the video. Uh, on the right piece, uh, the slots here are cut off in half. On the left piece, they are all intact, right? So here's my left video piece. They are all there, all three. On, on the right video piece, here, they're cut off here, right? So we know really this is the right video, this is the left video. You can scroll through it. So that's how this goes. And so now you see how that went. How we have a left and right video now separated. Fourteen. See, I'm not allowed to push this around. Right. I do this twice now. But that's, I can put my arrows in here for my for my uh, thing in the beginning of the video so I hope you like this and uh, I guess I see you in another video if you liked it